Okay, this should be the last video. This is where we can assemble everything. So, look down the bottom where your tabs are and look for the assembly tab. If you don't have an assembly tab, uh, you click insert, uh, create assembly. But it should be there. And we end up with this big white space. So we've got the dot there where the origin is. We actually don't need that. So let's hide the origin. And along the top toolbars, look for the insert. And we should get this dialog up uh, that shows the parts that we've already drawn. So first of all, we need a leg. So click and uh, there's our leg. And just we'll just place it over here a little bit to the left. So click once. Now we need another leg because there's two of them. We'll place the other leg over here somewhere. We also need a rail. We'll place it over here. Another rail. We'll put this over here. And we need one top. Uh, we'll click to place that there. So that's all we need to insert. There's all our parts. And we can tick that. Uh, what we need to do is mate all these parts together uh, into their correct positions. And actually, before we do that, it should be your very first part that you place there. That the first one in the list, like if you hover over it, it should highlight orange. So just right click on it and go down and find fix. That'll stop that part moving all around. Now let me zoom in here. This rail in that housing joint needs to fit into here. So what we use is this tool called a fasten mate. So look up in the top toolbar, uh, look for the fastened mate. We'll click that and there's our dialog. Now what we need to do with the mate, and this might be hard to see on the video, as you hover over edges or faces you get this weird looking circle. So we need to have that weird looking circle at the center point of that little edge and as if the circle, as if the edge is passing through the middle of that circle. Like if you move your cursor, it'll place that circle in different positions. So I don't know whether you can see that in the video. Uh, we need it on its edge like so. And once it's there, click. Now we need to do the same in the middle of this little edge here. So make sure we're on the edge. Only that edge is highlighted. And you may have to adjust your cursor until you get it right and then click. Now let me zoom back and it's placed them in the correct position. If it's in the wrong position, uh, these buttons here will change their orientation. So you may have to fiddle around with those. If it, I can't even get it back to where it was. There we go. If it didn't work, cancel and try again. So they go back to the fastened mate. So uh, midpoint of the edge, to the midpoint of the edge, it'll place the two together. Once they're in the correct position, green tick. Now, the, the fasten mate tool is still selected, so that's okay, we can leave it selected. So, this housing joint needs to fit onto that part of that leg. So, exactly the same again. Hover over until we get the midpoint of the edge, click the midpoint of that edge of the uh, housing joint, click. If you need to adjust, remember these two buttons can do that. Mine has ended up correct and tick. All right, we've got to get the other rail in place. So it's facing the wrong way. So this housing joint here 
needs to fit into this place. So we're going to make sure you select, uh, you need to be able to visualize in which position it's going to sit. So our tool's still selected. So midpoint of the edge, click. Midpoint of the edge. Now, if you get this wrong, I'll, I'll deliberately make a mistake. Yeah, I've got my cursor in the wrong position. It's actually highlighted that whole face. No matter what I do here, it's, it's not going to end up in the right position. So I have to cancel. So we try again. Fasten mate. And click. And click. There you go, it's put the two together. They're in the wrong position, so. Yeah. That's it. We just adjust that with those two buttons until we're in the right position. And tick. There's our little frame put together. Now we just need to put the top on. Uh, the top is connected in a similar way, however, it's gonna be offset. So let's start in the same way. Our, our tool is still selected, our fasten mate tool. Uh, this edge, the middle of this edge at the bottom of the uh, top. So click and find the middle of this edge at the top of the leg and click. And it's gonna place it there. It's in the wrong position. So we have to offset it. So back here where our tool is, we tick the offset button. Uh, it'll be the, in the X direction. I can see because uh, that red X shows me the direction that the offset could go. Uh, the distance is 45, so press enter. If it goes the wrong way, you may have to type a negative 45. But for me, it's uh, a, a positive 45. Press enter, it looks correct, and I can tick here. And we don't need to do another fasten, so we can cancel that one up here. And there we go, we've assembled our footstool.